Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. Last episode, we wrapped up all the wars that we were currently in, and we started to outfit our guys in a quote-unquote uniform, which I am going to continue to try to do. Um, we were doing Volandian uniforms specifically. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that the 1.5.6 patch is out, but I am not on it yet. I wanted to wait to jump to the 1.5.6 until I can vet it and make sure that it is balanced and stable, not going to crash or be problematic. And I haven't had enough time to do that, so I'll be upgrading to 1.5.6 likely next week, but not obviously today. Uh, so all of my vassals here are getting the white male over tabard treatment. Uh, finally committing to upgrading their equipment. Uh, but one thing I wanted to say is that I also want to make sure that I have enough money left over to do some high-level vassal recruiting. So before this episode, I listed some vassals that I wanted to potentially talk to to see if they would change sides, one of which is Engulther here. There's two Engulthers, but one of the Engulthers is the leader of three other members, and uh, recruiting him would add four vassals to my number, so that sounds great. Engulther wants a lot of money, uh, but given the amount of vassals I get for talking to Engulther, I would say it's worth it. The other one that is a high level recruit would be Kalatild. Kalatild is someone I've been having my eyes on for a long time, uh, and she is in Ox Hall right now. So let's march straight to Ox Hall before I buy any additional armor and see if I can't afford Kalatild. Kalatild, just like in Galther, is a vassal who has a lot of relatives. And when the leader comes, so too does all of their relatives. So in Galther added four. Kalatild would also add, I believe, four. Ovagos married Mina. Ovagos. Um, of the Kuzates. Married Mina, who was... Uh, okay, yeah, that doesn't affect me at all. I was just curious. Sometimes during marriages or whatever, um, people will change sides and whatnot. All right, go to the keep. Hello, Calatild. Uh, there is also the bug in 1.5.5 where uh, I really can't fail recruiting people. Next patch, this might be different. They might have fixed it. I'm not really sure. I haven't taken the time to pour over all of the patch notes. But yes, Calatild also does join. It doesn't really leave me a whole lot of money left to do my shopping spree. Uh, but whatever money is remaining, which is 131k, I will ded dedicate towards um, new gear. So I'm going to specifically focus on the ones that have really bad gear, low tier gear. Um getting them up to date with the equipment, which would be, I guess, Silas. And I probably only can afford uh, one more set uh, before I have to uh, pick who to go to war with. Yeah, I can afford maybe two sets at most, but I'm gonna put it as to one set only. Uh, just so that I don't totally impoverish myself. I don't want to be uh, totally impoverished. Okay. So let's see if there's another set at Provend. And then once we get to Provend, uh, what I'm also going to do is to go to my owned territories. And... What, I, what, I, what I'll be doing, I'll really have to justify and, and... What I would like to do is to make sure that another game mechanic in next patch is a rebellion mechanic. So if your towns are not loyal to you, uh, they revolt. So one of the things I feel like I must do is to make sure that I reduce the chance for revolting and to do that, I need to make sure that they're loyal. Now, there's actually a reason why I might want revolts. And that reason is... 
let's say I want to own Galland or Praven or Oxhall or any of these Volandian towns, I own too much right now. So one of the things I might be able to do is purposefully, I know this sounds crazy, but purposefully allow um, my towns that I own, like Amatatis and Rote and Zianica, to revolt so that I will beat the rebels and gift the towns to a vassal once reclaimed, which would then free me up to own Volandian land, which is more prized because it would allow me to recruit from my own land. So that's sort of the idea. Uh, but I'm not going to... Oh man, all recruits fine, whatever. I'm not going to set them up to revolt just yet. I don't want to pull the trigger and lower their loyalty uh, purposefully just yet. Alright, getting everybody into uniform. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do. So, oh, I did want to recruit. You know, I did. Okay. Uh, so next up is to check in with all of the towns I currently own, just to make sure that they are as loyal as possible. Uh, so that next week, if I do end up going up um, to the next branch, I don't have revolutions happening across all of my territory that I'm unable to curtail. That would be, that would be bad. I don't, I want to do it in a structured, controlled way. I don't want there just to be mass rebellions everywhere. Once I manage all the towns, which shouldn't take too, too long, uh, I will then decide on who to go to war with next. Um, I think what it will come down to is basically going to war with whomever my vassals want to go to war with. I don't want to override them or overrule them because it costs a lot of influence and I'd rather not spend my influence um, making my vassals upset. So Artisia is fine. There's nothing I need to do at Artisia. They're uh, festivals and games, which is the loyalty uh, gain. Oh, that was sad. I don't know who just died there. but I believe Amatanus was really the one that was truly disloyal. I think there might be a way for me to sort through my fiefs here. Yeah, here we go. Zianica's loyalty is great. Um, I wish it would tell me what they're currently working on. Rote's is dropping, so I need to go to Rote to make sure. Uh, but most of the loyalty that, that Rote is dropping is bound village issues, which means their local villages are uh, really problematic. Um, as you can see, Amatadas' loyalty is zero. And that's something I need to fix up. Ortisia's is gaining. Hertigia Castle is perfect. Uh, so Rote and Amatadas are the ones that are most likely to rebel against me next patch. Um, because they, they, they simply don't have lo loyalty. Uh, what I will do is, you know, make sure that I am pouring in all the effort I can to make sure that they're loyal now. But if I do want to ditch territory so that I might be able to own Volandian territory, it's good to know that Rote and Amatatis are very fragile and could easily be encouraged to rebel. That is uh, very useful knowledge. I also really want to get rid of Herdigia Castle. Unfortunately for me, it is unbelievably loyal to me. Um, so that sucks. Because I don't, I don't really want to own castles. Uh, Arwa married Belgir. Oh, congratulations, Belgir. Belgir is Volandian, and he just married... I don't know who Arwa's... Arwa's father's Adram? Okay, so it was uh, it was uh, Azurai. That's kind of weird, because I think they might be at war with one another right now. Alright, so Rote's... Bound village issues actually has just gone down. I'm guessing um, a lot of the bound village issues were uh, looters. And now the loyalty is going back up because there's fewer looters or something. I, I don't really know. I don't really care. Um, 
I'm not going to do village quests. I'm a queen, not a wannabe uh, knight or something. So if I do festivals and games in Amatadas, uh, their loyalty does start to climb. Uh, I will also invest a little money, um, which helps it climb more. I don't want to lose territories just yet. And last but not least, Zionica. And then once I tap into Zionica, I'll figure out who my vassals want to go to war with. I think the only ones I will... Man, maybe Southern Empire or Azurai. Batania, possibly. But probably not. I'd like to go to war with Azurai. Unquid of Azurai declared war on Kuzate, so that's even more, more reason to go to war with Azurai. Because now they're... Um, now they have split attention. Oh, my guys want to go to war with Batania. And I'd have to spend 2100 influence to say no. Okay. I guess the decision has been made for me. Batania is the target. So with that, uh, the next really important thing for me to do is to start to rally... Um, all of my new vassals to me. I'll do it in just a second now. Kuzit and Azurai just made uh, peace. Okay, max loyalty, great. So that means if I check the clan tab, uh, it is De Ermac, Aeromonk, and De Cortain. So the flowers and the spear and flowers is what I'm gonna remember. So I sort my clans. The Spear and Flowers, one, two, three, and the Flowers, one, two, three. All you guys are going to have to rally to me to fight. And I'm going to go to Gersego's castle first. So I have uh, three vassals from each new clan uh, fighting for me. And and given the clan tier, um, they're obviously going to be uh, first pick for new territory. M, you have leveled up. Let me level up your riding. All right, so Unthuri is trying to rally to me, but I'm just going to ride up ahead. Another thing I might want to do is stop into Rote and buy some food because I'm about to have a much larger army. Beer. Okay, meat, cheese, butter, sure. So, taking a look at our border here, uh, Len, Lenok Hen Castle, Abcomer Castle, they're probably the most vulnerable. Uh, maybe Varon. Actually, Herdegia Castle is possibly going to get raided. I would love for Patani to take it so I could give it to someone else. That would be ideal. I don't think it's going to happen, but that would be ideal. And Gersego's Castle is where I'm headed. There is a lot of defenders. It's very, very well defended, so I'll... Got it. Uh, the Sklovlo Bravata, or whatever they're called, uh, just joined Batania. So, I guess you guys want to die? And we'll go with the traditional Siege Tower Battering Ram setup. Uh, this fight, I, for once, am going to remember to switch out my gear. I know, so rare, so rare. So that I have my... Oh, I just did that wrong. I have my sword and board instead of the Rumphalia. It's better suited for castle fights. I'm also going to make some uh, fire onagers to take out their uh, ballista. And this will give uh, my vassals time to rally to me. Because they're, they're taking a bit of time. Sylvind, Borkin, Engalther, Tommond. Tommond looks like he's starving right now. You should hurry up, because you're losing dudes. And now we're just waiting for Morkin. Let me pour in some cohesion. I just gained some engineering. Uh, improved masonry. Cool. It's my only choice, so it wasn't much of a choice. 
I'm very eager for next patch where I'll be able to level up um, my people that aren't in my party, like Trust and Damien and Can. Okay. But for now, I, I can't. I wonder how far Morkin... Oh, is this Morkin? Oh, good. He'll be here just in time. I should have pocketed my Onager, but the Onager managed to take out... Okay, so this is going to be... It's going to be like that. Um, okay, uh, I might not wait for the Ballista. Rote is being besieged by Botania. Hey, that's awesome. I actually do hope that I lose Rote uh, so that I can gift it to someone else. I don't want non... I don't want territories I don't have interest in. Yeah. So here we are. Good old castle fight. Oh, embarrassing. First shot missed. Ah, oh, the dummies have a slightly backlit um, defenses. So I can see in and more easily and, uh, well, Archer's got an Archer. Hope you enjoy your torchlight. Yep. Unwise. Very unwise. All right, let's focus elsewhere because I think these are pretty much cleared. Uh, they'll they'll replenish troops these areas eventually. They haven't yet, so. Ah! Trading shots. I win. Wow, no one's uh, banned the bottom floors of here yet. Whoa! Watch where you're firing, man. Fire, like, forward, not sideways. Whoever's on that uh, Onager. Oh, they're doing it again. Why are you firing on some random battlement that has no, of no consequence? Is kind of weird to me. All right, the towers have connected. First up, me. Never shied away from a fight before. Why start now? Uh, my guys are having trouble with the one by one. Soldiers! Hear me! Food me! I'm just making sure that Soldiers, get on, come on! they're uh, moving correctly. Uh, doesn't even look like there's anyone up here. I mean, fine. Fish in a barrel. I'm okay with this. Oh, you survived. That's unusual. I don't really know which one's higher levels than the others, but... If they're gonna stand around, they will get every arrow I have left in my quiver before I move up. Keep moving the moment I release. All right, quiver's empty. I could go. Um, can I climb? I don't know if I can climb that. Uh, I could go find more arrows, but nah. Oh, look at you, Billman. Man, he is so much faster than I am. Although to be fair, I'm in like twice the weight of armor.
Now let's put the shield away. The sword does more damage if I wield it with two hands. If I need to defend myself, I can. But as you can see... Ow! Whoa! Jesus! Whoever that was, he hit me, like, so hard. It was this guy. It's you. Britannian champion. Yeah, uh, no kidding. That hurt. Shot me in the head for... Four fifths of my health. Hello, archers. One of these guys is a champion. All right, I'm out of arrows. I forgot about that. Come on, champ. Oof. Come on, troops. Nope, they got me. Well, we have the gate. We're pouring in. It was only a matter of time until this castle falls. Ta-da! Very minimal losses. We can take all prisoners. Which is the very opposite of take no prisoners. Well, we're taking them all. I'm the only one that got hurt. I guess Cheese got a little hurt, but it's mostly just me. And one castle fallen. And with all the vassals backing me up. Uh, what's next? Taking a look at this map, I would say Remtoil is next, and then Marnath. Vipon of Serlande just got captured. Let's see where he was. Mechalovia. Where is... Okay, so he was, uh, he was in enemy territory, so that is not at all in any way surprising. I would care a lot more if, um, you know, actually, I'm going to take Marinath first to ransom off the prisoners that I have. Or maybe I'll go to Legata and ransom them off and then and then return to the, back to the front. Uh, my bow skills leveled up. So Skirmish, Phase, Master, heck yes. So that's 10% less damage from ranged attacks versus a little better vision. And then my athletics went up. When no shield and ranged weapons are wielded, more movement or more damage with melee weapons. Ah, uh, more damage with melee weapons. Movement speed is not uh, my chief concern. I don't mind being a little slow. Slow and steady. They win the race. Okay, I have 35 days of food. Rote was under siege. I'm thinking Bellathor might be trying to defend it. I'm not going to defend it. I wouldn't mind if Bellathor got captured. I kind of want Belthor to get captured, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, there are some Azurai horses here um, that are undoubtedly better than what most of my guys ride, so I'll gift these out if I am able. There we are. Uh, Raptor Talon doesn't have the skill. Silas is, has one. Cheese doesn't have the skill. The Pure Blood horses aren't bad either. And then M doesn't have the skill. So everybody that can be on a Azurai horse is um, selling off all the gear I don't need. Buying uh, some morale food. Done. And then, of course, not to forget the prisoners. Uh, some of them want to join me, but I really... I only want the Valandians. So, I guess it's 2k. It frees up space. Leaving Legata. Uh, now I have space for more prisoners, so we'll go to Remtoil. Calatil, you can get the new castle. 
So that is a brand new vassal. Engulther is the other brand new vassal. Um, and now has territory, so is less likely to leave my employ. I wonder if Rote is still being besieged. Uh, I'm guessing no, because I think Bellathor just defeated them all. <laughs> uh, I wanted to lose territory, and I just simply can't. I just simply can't. So someone is raiding right outside Svana. Is raiding right outside Gersigros Castle or whatever it's called. Um, so that castle might fall back into Pentanian uh, hands, but... Uh, I'm not going to reroute my troops to deal with that. Making the conscious choice to just push forward to Remtoil and Marineth. Alright, it's another castle fight, so I am going to... Um... Ooh, no, no, no. That's something different. Where did that happen? Oh, at Gersegos. So, Gersegos Castle is definitely falling. Without any doubt. You know what? It's rare that I actually defend territory. Let me take this uh, opportunity to do it for once ever. Because it's really not that far away. Oh, what just happened? Uh, Faden, where, where did that happen? Um, at Casergos Castle. So Casergos Castle, there's a lot going on there. I, I don't even see forces over there, so I'm sort of scratching my head as to why there is such a crazy amount of fighting. But I think we just won. I think Incurian and Wythun and all the people that um, you see leaving uh, had just actually successfully defended it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get a visible. Yeah, okay. I have it in... I'm staring at it. It's it's okay. So, some back and forth fighting. I think all of the vassals... Uh, if we take a look at the kingdom... All the um, prisoners... Yeah, as you can see... We, we have 15 of their prisoners. They have none of ours. Um, all the fighting that happened around that castle... Ultimately... We won, and we freed all of our prisoners. Ooh, ooh, Kaladog, Kaladog. Oh, my God. Hello, Kaladog. He is, of course, the... Uh, uh, he's moving too fast. He's moving so fast. Okay, let's... I wanted to capture him. That would be really cool. But uh, he's... He's... Sonic the Hedgehog speed over there, so... That will be a big old... No, nah, thanks for me. I would like to rain fire and rim toil, so I am actually going to, unless something presses me so I can't, I will actually uh, try to make fire onagers and and siege this with all of the onagers, uh, knocking out all their siege equipment. That'd be pretty cool. They just signed a uh, mercenary company. I think they just signed these guys, Jawal. Which is fine. They need all the help they can get. If you look at the balance of power here, I'm it's two to one. A bunch of uh, their prisoners are escaping, though. It's too bad you can't get fire trebuchets. I much would prefer having fire trebs over uh, anything else. But I suppose that would be too strong, so they don't exist. Okay, let's field it. As soon as we knock out all the ballista, I'll uh, lay siege. If we do, my onagers seem to be missing. Oh, there we go. Lead an assault, they have no siege equipment, and we have all siege equipment. 
I don't usually assault like this, but I, I just wanted to for once. You know, this is a... Whoa, that's a very cool castle, too. Alright, so now we have four Fire Onagers, and they don't have a single Ballista guarding them. So, it is a very interesting situation. Uh, one of the Ballista, or one of the Siege Towers, obviously, is coming here. Because you can see the wall damage. I don't see anyone in this tower. Yeah, lean your head out. That'll be good for you. Oh, you're already dead. This, uh, this structure very much looks Batanian with the mosses and and all that. It's pretty cool. It's one of the longest shots I've ever attempted. And it's not going well. I don't actually see my fire onagers doing very much. I'm not sure why. That's too bad. I was really hoping to rain a whole bunch of fire down on the uh, enemies here, but I suppose that won't happen. Hey fools, why ain't you firing? I guess there's nothing to fire upon? Is that it? been a while since I've fired one of these myself. Hey, can you just launch me like I'm in some sort of Bollywood movie? Hey, not bad. Although I'd, I think I'd preferably be on the uh, on the siege here. God, it does take a while to load these things, huh? I guess I'm doing a, a poor job of it. Oh God. Uh, okay, I'm fired. <laughs> oh God. All right. Uh, let's just. Um, totally wasn't me. Uh, I thought that was going to be higher. <laughs> Mistakes were made. All right, let's uh, let's help the front gate. Cutting and hacking and slashing. Okay, we don't in any way control the gate yet, and I am getting pelted by arrows. So let me see what I can do about that. I think they were fleeing more than anything else. cowards. I couldn't draw it fast enough. Well, I guess I can train my one-handed for free. Actually, let's go two-handed.
What's the opposite of... Uh, I guess this is, what, exit camping? It's not my fault. They're making it too easy. So I'm curious, if I put my shield away, does this count as a two-handed weapon? I do not know the answer to this. I think... Nope, I missed. I was aiming for... Oh, yeah, there we go. I got the archer that was shooting at me. So it seems like we do have people on the walls. They just don't know what to do. Soldier, I'm going to tell everyone to charge because they seem to be confused about how fighting works. I'm down to my last arrow. I don't really want to just charge into this group here because there's simply too many of them. I'm doing it anyway, though. have to use terrain to sort of get away from this group, this horde. Oh, it didn't work. What, you thought five of you was enough? Come back when you have 50. That's a champion right there. Oath sworn, I guess. He's gonna hit a lot harder than the rest. All those arena fights pay off. The other oh, ouch. Putting my sword, uh, shield away. Ow, hey, hey, hey! Ooh, someone just helped me out. Coward. Slashed me in the back while I wasn't looking. Well, I'm uh, about as close to death as one can be. But, hey, we win. So, another castle down. And I... Uh, Somehow survived. Just just barely, but it somehow survived. I'll take it. I have what? Five percent? It's still a success to me. And Rem Toil now fallen. I have someone, uh, what, Silas? Silas, you leveled up. Uh, let's do Arrow Catcher. Okay, Remtoil is down. And Maranath is next. I have a bunch of prisoners already. And I need to rinse them off. Uh, Maranath has a lot of defenders. I'm not discouraged. But I just wanted to make note that it is extraordinarily well guarded. Also, it wouldn't surprise me if Remtoy fell. I'm going to use Trebuchets here. Monchuga Kazates just declared war on Seralandia. Huh. That's, uh, that's going to complicate some things. I'm in a, a two-front war. Who is, um, who is Kuzate at war with? Southern Empire, so that's no one, basically. And Southern Empire, okay. So, yeah, I'm in a two-front war. Well, that's good to know. I think I can handle it. I might lose some Eastern Front bordering Kuzate land. That would not surprise me. But uh, I really can't help it because I don't have enough influence to demand peace unless uh, unless there's some support within my vassals. And oddly enough, there is none yet. Luchin of Seralandia just got captured. Alright, Luch. You were near... I have no idea where that is. 
Way east. Way east. Okay. Well, of no consequence, I guess. I'm not going to be able to get out there anyway. Oh man, look at all these catapults. Some of these Batanians want to join me, but I don't think I'm going to add them. It's going to be one big old ransom. A ton of Batanians just got captured by Xeno... Uh, or Serratus. Uh, so, Serratus, where were you? You were at Remtoil Castle, so I guess they're defending Remtoil. Um, that's good. It's good to know that we'll keep that. Nifon. So some of my uh, some of my vassals are are um, falling to Kuzades. Again, very much as a result of the two front that I'm fighting upon. So once all their catapults are down, I'll probably siege. I don't need to crack walls. I just want to get catapults down. Okay, they're doing ballista now. Take out the ballista, please. Take out the catapult. Come on, Trebs. One more. Oh my god, one more. There we go. Launch the assault. They no longer have siege equipment. I'm going to leave my trebuchets in operation during the siege because they have a lot of defenders. They had like 900 or something like that. So um, it's no small number. Very marshy. With old ruined battlements. It's hard to even know where I'm going to functionally be useful. With the time of day and the contrast against the sky, it's I'm having trouble even finding. Ouch. They could find me, though. Alright, that's enough of that. Attention of everyone, apparently. That's okay. I'm wearing extraordinarily expensive armor for a reason. Oh, ouch. Okay, now it's starting to hurt. I was. Something shot me in the head. Alright, sorry, horse. I'm gonna ditch you. So I can duck and weave a little bit better. Now, because I have the uh, sword and shield and not the Rumphalia, I don't have as much uh, ammunition as I normally would, so I'll shoot until I'm out. Ooh, that's not good. What is going on here? I can't see anything. Okay, I can hear our siege equipment rolling up. I'll go for... Left tower. I think I actually still might be more useful um, taking out their uh, archers. Is that... Are you dead? Uh, uh, my arrows seem to be going through you, so I would say yes. Okay, up we go. With all of the caution that I always uh, exert. Our trebuchets are still um, Give them hell! being used. Oh, no, no, no. Where, where are you going? Oh, what did I do? Sergeant, you're on command! 
Oh god. Uh, no? Valiant Vanguard, I am sorry I couldn't help you better. Yep, that happened. Well, time to fast forward and hope that... Oh yeah, we're definitely storming the walls. Okay, that's good. I was a little worried about the AI not being functional, but the east wall is totally, or the right wall, I don't know if it's actually east, totally captured. The left wall having a bit of trouble, the one I was on. But I have a feeling they'll break through. Yeah, they're starting to break through now. Done. Broken through. Now you should see the kill feed on the right go mostly green as we are clearing out the castles of their shooters. And then the front gate group will be next. So this is us filtering into the front gate group slowly. Look at Talon and Can's skill on the bottom left there. All right, front gate is op not open, not yet. We're still fighting on the walls. We haven't gotten to the front gate yet. We basically control both walls, it seems. And here we go, front gate. Both sides, all at the same time. And that's what collapsed them. Perfect. Every prisoner. All the loot. Remtoil going to Engulther. So now Kalatild and Engulther both have a castle each. And Tavern District prisoners. All prisoners minus my this precious Valandian. So that's about 6k of prisoners. That's that's pretty good. Uh, let's trade off all the gear I don't need. So as far as armor goes, it's all garbage. I don't even know why bearskin's locked in. Forget that. Uh, as far as arrows and shields go, all garbage. As far as weapons go, uh, I don't need them. Let's, I don't need any more grain. I have a ridiculous amount, so done. And that will about wrap up this episode. Don't really have much time. So we captured three so far. So if I check the kingdom tab, as you can see, uh, successful siege is three to zero. Kuzate hasn't captured anything. It's been about even. They're definitely raiding more than I am. Um, there is no support for peace for either, so we are not done raiding. Not yet. Not soon. As I mentioned at the start of the episode, I was going to upgrade to 1.5.6, and I still might. I have to analyze the latest beta branch to make sure it's stable and is going to work for me. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.